Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to the weekend. It's Saturday morning as I'm filming this. I've just got up, there's a decent bit of light, so I thought I would spend 10 minutes or so just showing you and talking a little bit about my first impressions of a few um, complexion enhancing coverage products that I've bought in the last six weeks or so. I don't know quite why I've been on a um, foundation concealer kind of um, binge, but I have. The first of the items I bought was a cushion foundation. I kind of thought I was over cushion foundations really um, because I had I had a couple um, which I quite liked but I tended to like to use them when I was on the go so I would have one in my uh, handbag for touch-ups more than doing my complete morning coverage and uh, then we got to the pandemic and <laughs> hardly ever going anywhere and also I have to be frank I have stopped wearing makeup as consistently since the pandemic even though um, we're out and about I don't tend to wear a full face of makeup even for work as as regularly and as consistently as I did um, pre-pandemic the only time really I do a complete face is um, when I'm going somewhere in the evening to be honest uh, sometimes for work if I'm looking absolutely terrible but I do wear um, the foundation products concealer that kind of thing because I need those fairly regularly so I was tempted to get another cushion foundation if I'm honest it's this one it's the Gucci um, because of the gorgeous packaging more than anything uh, I just love how they present their stuff um, I have got in my handbag a powder, even though I don't really use powder very much, but this is just so pretty and uh, it's got a gorgeous mirror in it. So I use it really as a mirror compact and that's the Gucci one. Anyway, I was tempted by this. I have to say the packaging isn't as lovely in the sense that it's plastic rather than the kind of heavier metal and um, faux enamel of the um, powder compact. Uh, but that is pretty um, practical. Uh, what I don't like is how gungy the sponges get. Um, but what can you do? Uh, even when you wash them, they stay pretty gungy. Um, this is... Sorry, I'm not in my usual setup. This is what it looks like inside. This is actually one of the lightest colours. I think the sponge makes it look quite a bit darker. You can see there um, the trace on me shows how light it is. I can tell you which one it is probably. Yeah, 2.5, so not the very lightest, but down there, obviously. Um, now, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite liquidy when it comes off the cushion. Um, I think I could have done possibly with a slightly yes, less yellow undertone. Of course, it was guesswork on the website, um, but it's a pretty good match on the skin. Um, you absolutely don't feel it. Um, it's really, really light, but the coverage, oh, light in texture, the coverage uh, is moving towards medium, I would say, so not completely light. It does give you a decent amount of coverage. And I like the fact that although um, it, it is a, a tad lighter than my actual skin tone, it doesn't sit in the pores and magnify them in the way um, often if I get the foundation colour wrong. Uh, other products do I've noticed when uh, it's lighter so I do like this um, product I probably if I'm bothering to put on makeup would 
prefer something that gave me a bit more coverage than this. Uh, but it's great for touch-ups, which is, after all, what I largely use it for in my handbag on the go. Uh, if you are using it as a full face, it feels great. You really do feel as if you've got nothing on, but it is adding something. You know, it, it's not one of those um, where you literally can't see the effects of what, what you put on your face. Um, so if you like a cushion foundation, I, I do think this one is worth looking at. I haven't got another one, another brand to compare it with. My memory of the ones I had in the past, which included Dior's one, was that they were kind of creamier. This this feels more liquidy. I don't know how long it will last. I've had this about six weeks and I have used it um, quite a bit, maybe three times a week, I would say. So not a, you know, not a whole lot. And it, it's not running out or anything. There's plenty of product at the moment. So... Yeah, so a thumbs up for Gucci there. Now, a product that doesn't <laughs> please me. Why do I keep falling for them? Westman Atelier. I've got quite a few of their products. I just, I don't know. I kind of love the aesthetic again. I love the idea of these clean quality products. Um, the marketing is so good. And people consistently say how wonderful they are. And then... I get them and not so much. Um, that's a little bit of a generalisation because I have liked some of their products. I love the um, cream blush stick, for example, which is very much the um, NARS, the old NARS concept. They were the first I was aware of that kind of came out with those blush sticks. Um, and I don't think there's anything different in what anyone else has done since then. Bobby Brown was another early one um but i do like the westman atelier one anyway uh, stop meandering on susan this is called vital skincare complexion drops so i suppose the clue is in the fact that they do call it vital skincare that it isn't really a foundation or a skin tint or anything like that but it does seem to be promoted as a skin tint something that is good for your skin but is actually making it look better as you wear it and let me tell you straight away in my opinion this product does not do that it makes your skin look worse um it's a, first of all an absolutely tiny um bottle which is about 60 odd quid in the uk um you expect it to do something for your skin because there are different shades. So I got the light one. Uh, I'm going to shake it, although I don't think it tells you to do that. And there you can see. So it looks as if it's going to do something for your skin. It's, and uh, I was warned about this. It's quite smelly, uh, uh, quite an unpleasant stale oil smell is the only way I could explain it. People talk about it being fishy. It's very, very oily. And I don't think it's showing as much here. Very, very shiny. Uh, well, I would say greasy. You know that I like illuminators, so I'm not against a bit of shine. And the way this product is promoted is really that you wear it just to look your skin but better. Um, or you wear it under your skin products and it will give you a bit of glow. Um, it, it really doesn't do either of those things, in my opinion. If you put it on, it not only looks incredibly greasy, but uh, it actually seems to make my skin look a bit redder, almost a sort of irritation that dies down very quickly, it's fair to say, but um, it's not attractive. I've tried other products on top of it. Um, primarily, I've tried their own um, foundation stick, which I think I've shown you before. Um, these are fairly standard products. Um, theirs is good. Uh, if you like these kind of solid cream sticks, I use more as a sort of concealer type coverage. I, don't, I you know, can't put it on the whole of my face. Um, but I do sometimes use them. I still think the Tom Ford one is the best. It's slightly more emollient than the Westman Atelier one, but the Westman Atelier one is fine. And you can see it's kind of dried down and it's still, 
extremely greasy. Um, I've tried that on top and it, it seems to make the foundation stick tackier. It, it just doesn't work. I've tried it underneath ordinary foundations. That kind of works, but um, it certainly has no discernible effect underneath making me look more glowy. Uh, it just kind of blots out the grease, the foundation as it were. And um, then whatever glow is having to be um, put on on top. So yeah, they, I guess this is a skincare product. Um, I don't know how great it is for the skin. I haven't found any difference. Don't waste your money. Um, while we're on Westman Atelier, I have also bought one of the new lipsticks, the Lip Suede's. You'll have seen these being advertised. I do like um, the texture um, and formula of uh, this lipstick. I, I've got the wrong colour, to be honest. Uh, I bought off the internet, having watched a few videos. I watched Angela Rose and she raved about this colour. It's called Minx. Um, and thought it was a beautiful neutral. It isn't really neutral on me, unfortunately. And generally, on skincare products, although she's dark-haired and I'm fair, um, we, I, I get on with the same um, skin uh, coverage products as she does, but obviously our lip tint is different because it looks quite orangey on me. So that was a bit of a fail, unfortunately. Um, terracotta concealer I think this is new it suddenly came up on um, the Selfridges website and I had bought last summer the um, terracotta foundation which I do like I wore it quite a lot in the summer it's moderately glowy um, decent coverage and uh, I don't think these are the same shade I think I'm actually a bit lighter in the concealer again it was a bit of guesswork yeah um, the concealer really doesn't feel that different, if I'm honest. Maybe slightly thicker than the um, foundation. Obviously, you're getting less of it. If you're doing kind of spot checks, you know, under the eyes, T-zone, etc., which I do, and then not wearing foundation on the rest of the face, it works really well and it lasts pretty well. You know, there are... Very few Guerlain products that I wouldn't recommend. They are quality. And um, if you're in the market for a concealer, it's a good one. Is it my favourite at the moment? No. Amazingly, I'm still favouring the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Again, you know, that's a brand I have a very fraught relationship with, but it's a good concealer. Um, I haven't been polishing my nails recently, but I did make the effort. It's Hermes. Uh, I don't recommend this particular shade which is called Bleu Electrique, electric blue. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade um, and, you know, beautiful presentation. I have quite a few of the Hermes polishes as I have quite a few of the, well, quite a few of several brands, but um, mostly of Chanel. Um, the Hermes polishes are even more expensive, ridiculously expensive. Some of them are good. The formula on this one, I don't think is good. Um, maybe down to the colour, I don't know. It's quite watery. That's about three coats to get a decent coverage, which I think is pretty un unacceptable, really. A price like 50-odd quid a, a bottle, 48 quid, I think they are. Um, so it's a beautiful colour. I think you can probably get that colour in other brands i mean certainly chanel's done it from time to time i think back to a gorgeous one that um ysl did some years ago which i think i've still got half a bottle of but um yeah no i wouldn't particularly recommend this one i bought another this is one of their two or three seasonal releases three i think um i didn't get the orange one because i have a couple of the oranges I did get a beautiful purple mauve one, which I haven't used yet. I'm hoping it's a better formula than this one. So there we go. Um, there are my newish purchases. I have a box of Dior waiting for me when I get home, which I hope to show you soon. Um, but until then, uh, take care and bye for now.